Hi right, my friends, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so first of all, sorry for all this, how this looks. So right now I have been up for about 26 hours. You know, the day's just going by and I'm wasting time and I'm on YouTube and you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers are talking about their winter running attire. So I thought, seems like a pretty good subject. Seems like something I could tackle. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Matt, you're crazy. Why are you talking about winter running attire when you live in Florida? And some of you may remember this post that I posted on Instagram asking what the difference is. The difference was that I'm wearing long sleeves and gloves. Now, the funny thing is, is that that morning the temperature was only 57 degrees. I put gloves on because, well, I wanted to wear gloves. When you don't get to dress up when you're running, it can be a bit of a treat to put on gloves, to put on long sleeves. But after a couple of miles, my hands were getting sweaty and I actually took them off. Anyway, I'm gonna be telling you what I do for winter running, for cold weather running. This is gonna be fun. Guys, my name's Matt, and on this channel, we talk about all things running. If you like running, if you like running gear, if you like dressing warm to go out when it's cold, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so right now and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Okay, I'm gonna go for a quick run, then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna talk about what I do for winter running. Ah, that was a great run guys you know i really wish it was a little cooler for me to make this video about my winter running gear because today wasn't the most winter running day that um well that we've had this year but that's okay it's gonna get cold again and i'm still gonna want to dress up for the cold weather i hope fingers crossed today's run oh you can see i'm wearing a singlet because it was it was a bit nippy but not too cold to wear anything more than just a singlet. So it was 66 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 18.89 Celsius. Lovely, just lovely. This kind of weather means winter is coming here in Florida. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. All right, today's run, today's run was 13.4 miles, which is around 21.57 kilometers, an average pace of 805 a mile, which is about 501 a kilometer. Started off slow, sped up towards the end. It's kind of kind of my MO, kind of what I do. But let's get back inside the house. Let me finish off this video telling you about how I dress for winter running. No, this is the best winter running clothes video. Asterix, if you live in Florida. All right, guys, come on, let's get back inside. That was a really good run, but okay, let's get into, let's get into the details of why you're here. You want to know what I do for winter running and well, it depends. It depends on the temperature to how much I'm actually gonna put on when I go out. Now, I spend most of the year, a huge chunk of the year, wearing practically nothing because if you didn't know, I'll tell you right now, I live in Florida and it's a bit warm here, especially in the summer, but it does get cold. Let me just cast my memory back to the 2010 Disney Marathon. The water at the aid stations when you were running through was freezing. It was freezing on the ground and it was getting all slippery. It can get bloody cold here, but it usually doesn't last very long. But when it is here, you have to know how to dress. So layers, layers are your friend when it comes to running in cold weather. So what is the first layer that I put on? First layer that I will put on is usually this polyester t-shirt. And it's usually like a race t-shirt like you. Probably done a lot of races over the years and I get the t-shirts and they get thrown in the bag and they're usually, kept upstairs in the loft for 
throw down clothes. You know, when you go to a race and you need to dress warmer before the race, then you can take stuff off and you can throw it in the charity bin and it gets donated off. If it gets a bit colder still and that polyester shirt is not cutting it, that's when I reach for a cotton t-shirt. It has to get pretty cold for me to wear a cotton t-shirt. Now, all this, all this depends on the rain. If it's raining, things change. If it's raining, probably not going to go out most of the time. Lucky enough here in Florida that the rain doesn't last too long when it does rain. What next? Well, that's still a t-shirt. Next, if it gets a bit colder, I am going to be reaching for long sleeves. Usually when I reach for something with long sleeves, first of all, I'm going to be going back to that polyester and it will usually be a race shirt. We're gradually getting colder and colder. After that, I will put a t-shirt on top of the long sleeves and that's where the layers are coming in. I'm keeping my core warm and I don't need as much protection on the arms. I feel very unqualified talking to you guys about what I do to stay warm when I run. I know a lot of you guys have a, have a bit of experience. When I complain about the cold weather, I get a lot of comments about how you are running in much colder weather. But still, we're gonna carry on. Now, it doesn't often get cold enough for me to wear more than a long sleeve polyester shirt with a cotton shirt over it. When it does, I reach for a jacket. And I don't actually have any good running jackets, but I do have a lot of running jackets. I do have the celebration jackets from every Boston Marathon that I've done, it's just, little souvenir that I've picked up over the years. Those are the jackets that I'll wear when the temperature really gets cold. You can see I'm wearing this blue jacket. This is a celebration jacket from the 2013 Boston Marathon. This photo is from 2014 when I went back up to run that Boston Marathon. It was very cold. So up in Massachusetts in April, it's, it's chilly. It's in the 30s a lot of the times. And that jacket is, that just keeps me warm enough. However, I get very warm. I get very warm when I'm running and I find that it has to be pretty chilly for me to be comfortable wearing the celebration jacket. I've surprised myself several times when I've been running in very chilly temperatures. I'd say high 20s, low 30s, and I'm actually getting uncomfortably warm in that jacket. It's a very warm jacket. What about extremities? Is your head considered an extremity? Hat and gloves. What do I do for that? It's a very, very light running hat and gloves. I think it would be best for spring weather, but it's usually all I have. And I do have other running hats, but this is generally what I will reach for in most circumstances. I have had these hat and gloves for as long as I can remember. They have been a feature in photos. Just scroll through my Instagram and you will see these hat and gloves in a lot of photos. I don't wear the Nike hat as much as I used to now. I do have this very light beanie from Lululemon. It is a very light running hat still. If I'm somewhere that is really cold, really, I mean, I'm talking maybe in the 20s when that hat just isn't cutting it, or if there's a bit more of a wind, I will reach for something a little heavier. And this hat by Merrill, it was a race day swag. So I picked it up on race day and it has kind of an, an ear liner around it and it just keeps your ears nice and warm. This is what I will go for, probably if the wind is blowing, like I said, in the 20s. Now let's talk about what goes on the bottom. Now I will wear shorts pretty much at 99% of any time I will go out and run, I will be wearing shorts. However, there is still that 1%. And I guess my shorts would maybe get a bit longer. Probably wouldn't wear those super short running shorts. If it's really freezing out, might wear something a little longer, maybe down to my knees, just to give a little more protection. But there have been times when it is just so cold that I have to go for tights. And when the tights day come, that is really an exciting day. Any of you watching this that have to wear running tights, you know that they can be very expensive. And I am six feet seven, so taller than the average bear. So it's very difficult to find tights that are long enough for me. But I did, and it's Roadrunner Sports. Roadrunner Sports made these tights for tall people. And they're not as expensive as the big name brands, which is always a plus. These are the most comfortable running thing I think I've ever run in. Like, it is such a good feeling to run in tights. Now, I don't want to say that I'm jealous of you guys who get to run in tights more often than I do. I don't even think I get to run in tights once a year. Anyway, this is one of my favorite things. It's one of my favorite things that I never get to wear. You know what, come to think about it? The only time that I've worn tights in a race is the 2010 Disney Marathon. Remember that race that I told you that the water stations, it was freezing on the ground. It was a real nightmare, but I wore tights and I was comfortable for the whole race and that was in the 20s. What about race day? Race day is completely different because you don't wanna wear your good stuff because you are likely going to be at your race for several hours before the actual race starts. Michelle, are you ready? I am so ready. 
Okay, we have two hours until we start. <laughs> two hours, that's right. Yeah, it's 7.40, two hours until race start. So you need to wear a lot more than you do when you're running. And when you are running, that stuff just gets peeled off and thrown off and you know, they come by with the sweepers and they bring it all to the charity shop after. I don't want to throw down these, my favorite running gloves that I've used for years. So what do I do? I go to Walmart and I will get these little, these little gloves. They look like little children's gloves. I think they're about a dollar each. They really don't keep your hands warm, but if you double up, they work a lot better. I usually have a couple of pairs for cold races and I will put those on. Now I kind of feel like Mickey Mouse wearing these tiny little gloves and they don't come down very far, but, but especially if you're wearing two pairs and you warm up, you can just peel one of these pairs off, throw them away and you still have one pair. That's kind of like a little secret. Go to Walmart, get some of these gloves for your throw down race day swag. Obviously when you're standing around at the race, hours before you need to be bundled up and you can see here from the 2018 Boston Marathon I was bundled up and I'm wearing a pair of trousers I think I got them at Goodwill for a couple of dollars and this is this is like the secret weapon and it's a bin liner it is a plastic bag and if you get a big plastic bag and you pull a hole in the top so you can put your head through. That is the secret weapon for race day warmth. This is actually a lovely photo of my daughter Libby and I. We ran the 2018 Disney Marathon together. We are donning some beautiful gray bin liners. Well, my friends, thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. Listen, you guys have been real champs to put up with this video all the way to the end because let's be honest, don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to dressing for cold weather. I just kind of pull stuff around that I already have because it happens so rarely. Not really an ideal running hat, but I guess it could work. Does anyone know what this hat is? You can see I've got my little ears up there. If you do know what this hat is, go ahead and write in the comments below. Thanks for staying all the way to the end. I know I already said that, but then I started talking again and now we're at the real end of the video. So guys, I will see you in a couple of days. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you next time.